With the grass court season well underway and Wimbledon just around the corner, we've got some massive changes to the rankings and those have ramifications for what is to come at Wimbledon in a week's time because, of course, the seedings are locked now that the rankings are in for this week. Let's go have a look at who actually won last week, though, because we had four tournaments and three of them were massive. Starting on the WTA side of things, and Putin Seba. She wins in Birmingham against Tom Anovich, who was actually a lucky loser at the tournament coming back from injury. But Putin Seba got the win 6 1 7 6. And she'll actually be unseated for Wimbledon, so a very dangerous player who's in some good form. And over in Berlin, Pagula saved five championship points against Kalinskaya to win her first grass court trophy 6 7 6 4 7 6. And with all the players on the WTA at the top of the game, seemingly either out of form or not playing on grass at the moment or injured, Pagula really stepping up the right time. So it's going to be interesting to see how she does when we get to Wimbledon in a week's time. Over on the men's side of things, starting at Queen's Club at 500 event, we had Tommy Paul beating Musetti in the final 6-1, 7-6, lifting the biggest trophy of his career. And over in Haller, the world number one, Yannick Sinner winning his first title as world number one, beating her catch in the final 7-6, 7-6. Not only did he win his first grass court title, but he also locks up that number one seed into Wimbledon as well. Her catch also got a career high ranking. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's talk about the players that went up in the rankings outside of the top 10, starting with Kalen Skyer. Career high ranking for her goes up seven spots, number 17 in the world after making the final in Berlin. Sebastian Korda, he's into the top 20 for the first time, goes up three spots into number 20 spot, which is a career high for him. And Jack Draper, he's in the top 30 for the first time at 29 in the world, a career high for him, going up two spots higher than last week, also beating Alcaraz last week. So he's got some form and he's got a career high ranking. So players there that did well this week on grass, really getting rewards. Players that dropped down in the rankings, Bublik, last year's Hella champion, he goes down six spots outside the top 20 now to number 23 in the world after failing to defend the those points. Cam Norrie, two years ago, made the semi-finals of Wimbledon, and now he'll be unseated going into this year's Wimbledon. 44 in the world, five spots lower than last week, so a bit disappointing there. And Vekic, also dropping down the rankings to number 49 in the world, 10 spots lower than last week after playing and losing a lot of points this week, so disappointing for her as well, and disappointing for all those players going to Wimbledon, going down to the rankings. I'll start on the WTA side of things, and no changes to the top 10 heading into Wimbledon with Fiontech staying at one, Goff will stay at number two, Sabalenka at three, and Rebecca at four, and that'll be the top four seeds going into Wimbledon this year. Pagula, she stays at number five despite winning a big trophy. Wondrusova, she's at six with Paulini at seven, Jung at eight, Zachary at nine, and Jabur rounds out the top 10 for this week. So that'll be the top 10 seeds going to Wimbledon. But of course, there are injury concerns going into Wimbledon for Sabalenka, Rabakina, Jabur, and Von Drusova, all of which were either sick last week or retired through injury. So very, very sad to see four of the top 10 players with a bit of a cloud on, over their head. But we'll see what happens in a week's time when Wimbledon starts. Over to the race, the finals now, and no change at the top with Shriontek. At number one, Sabalenka staying at number two and Rebecca at three. Goff stays at four and Paulini at five. Collins at six with Jung at number seven, Ostapenko at eight. There's a change down the bottom with Kostyuk and Navarro dropping out of the top 10, making way for Kalinskaya, who goes up to number nine in the world in the rankings for the race of the finals. And as a rank up, who she actually beat in the semifinals, also getting a boost up the rankings going to number 10 spot. So a big boost for those two players who did really well in Berlin last week, just outside that top eight for the race of the finals. Going over to the men's side of things now and no change to the top with Yannick Sinner, world number one. One, he will be the number one seed going into Wimbledon. But we did have a change after that with Djokovic going back up to number two, pushing Alcaraz down number three. And that's because Alcaraz unfortunately couldn't defend the title that he won in Queens Club and Djokovic didn't play. So it didn't actually matter for Djokovic. He got the points change. Zverev will stay at number four and that'll be the top four seeds for Wimbledon with Medvedev at five, Rublev at six and her catch. He goes up to a career high number seven in the world, pushing Dimonor down to number nine. And that's again, because Dimonor lost points from last year and her catch gained a lot of points from making the final of Hella. So that's where those guys changed. Ruth stays in the middle of the number eight, and then Dimitrov rounds out the top 10 for this week. So that's the top 10, locked and loaded for Wimbledon. Of course, Djokovic, the biggest injury concern in the top 10. He's going to go to Wimbledon, but we don't know if he's going to play. He'll make a decision over the next couple of days, but that will be the top 10 seeds unless Djokovic is to withdraw. And then of course, the number 11 will come in as the number 10 and everyone would move up one. Going over to the race of the finals now and no change up the top with Sinner at number one and Zverev at number two. Alcaraz stays at number three with Rude at four and Medvedev at five. But Demon on Pass, they swap spots with Steph going up to number six and Demon going down to number seven because Pass had a better week this week than Demon on the grass. Rublev stays at number eight with Dimitrov at number nine and Djokovic drops out of the top 10 with Hercatch taking his spot after Hercatch had a good week. And of course, Djokovic didn't play this week and we don't know when Nole's coming back. He says Wimbledon, or at least he wants to come back at Wimbledon, but we won't know. So we might not get to see him in this race to the finals for a couple of months until maybe he does well on the hard courts at the end of the year. But that'll be the top 10, the race, the finals. And it's really starting to get interesting, especially with the guys between Sinner and Medvedev really separating themselves from the rest of the pack. So there it is. They are the rankings and the race, the finals. No major changes, I guess. I mean, the big one being Alcaraz and Djokovic. But of course, if Djokovic pulls out, Alcaraz will be number two anyway at Wimbledon. So it won't really matter. 
too much. Uh, it'll really help Medvedev if Djokovic falls out because that'll mean he's number four, which means he avoids Sinner, Alcaraz, and Zverev until the later stage of the tournament instead of playing them in the quarterfinals potentially. So it really would help Medvedev if Djokovic was to pull out. And of course, all the players on the women's side. Now we have no changes to the top 10, but going to Wimbledon, there's a lot of players that are under an injury concern. And also a lot of players that haven't played on grass. Like Sviantec didn't play any grass court matches before Wimbledon. So it's going to be a really weird Wimbledon for the women's side, for the injuries, and also because of the players that are not injured that aren't really playing much. But let me down in the comments below. What's your early prediction for Wimbledon? It doesn't have to necessarily be the winner, but give me an early prediction. Maybe do you think Djokovic is going to play at Wimbledon? That's probably the biggest question I'm, I'm getting at the moment. Will Djokovic play? We'll probably find out in the next 24 hours when this video comes out. But there it is. They are the rankings for this week. Going to Wimbledon, the seeds are set.